Hi, it's Di from Organize with Style, and I thought a great way to kickstart my channel would be to show you my five favorite organization areas in my house today. So these are areas in my home that I feel like have brought a lot of function to my life or have just been able to keep me more organized. And the first area is my makeup vanity. This is one of my favorite areas, and we had this at our last house too. But now I have it in a more like filming room and makeup room area, which I'll show you a full tour of this room at some point. But this is the actual vanity area, and I feel like this is kind of the key component. I've got my little seat down there, and then I have some storage items down around the bottom. And then I have my Muji drawers up at the top here. I really, really love these. I got this little box from Michaels that keeps all of my naked palettes organized. All of my brushes here in the center. And then more storage organizers over here to the side where I keep all of my additional makeup essentials. I really feel like this has gone a long way to keeping my makeup organized. And aesthetically is also one of my favorite areas in the house as far as organization goes. Plus, as a bonus, I use this area daily. My second favorite organization area in my house is this little jewelry box that sits on the dresser in our bedroom. And I do have a larger jewelry box where I keep my costume jewelry and a lot of my extra jewelry in the makeup room. But this is kind of where I keep some of necessarily my favorite items or just items that I want easy access to. But I really like the layout of this and I just love the box and how functional it is. So I found this on Amazon. It wasn't too expensive. And I really like how it opens up at the side and you can put bracelets here in the side it's just a really easy access for those two areas and you can get into those without opening the other compartments then at the top it flips open and instead of wasting space for a mirror and that sort of thing because it's not a mirror that I would use I love that it has the hooks at the top to hang necklaces from and then a pouch to hold the necklaces so that way the chains don't get stretched out so that's really really nice there's some ring storage here in the front along with earring storage and then just a storage compartment where you can have easy grab and go items and then on the bottom there's a lot of different compartments where you can use for more occasional use type of items so I really like how this is laid out and it's been extremely functional. So if this is still available, I'll try to put the link on Amazon down below to this. And it's been one of my favorite organization pieces that I purchased for our house. My third favorite organization area in my house is my nail polish rack area. Now I have this in a closet in the makeup room and I again will show that in a kind of full tour later on. But this is so easy and I really held off for a long time. I had my polish stored in kind of longer rows and this has been a lot easier to see what polishes I have and just helps keep them presented a little bit better. And I had the perfect wall for this, the exact length for this size rack. So it ended up working out perfectly. I got this rack again on Amazon and I really, really like having my nail polishes on a rack like this. So this is probably what I always do in the future. I can see everything really nicely as far as what colors I have. You can see I have my favorite ones marked with a star and it's just worked out really, really great. So this holds the majority of my nail polish collection and has been a great way to keep it organized. My fourth favorite organization area is a corner of my family room and I kind of call this like the correspondence cabinet or something to that effect. So I use the correspondence cabinet, first of all, to kind of fill up an awkward space in this corner. This is also known as the timeout corner, if you're one of the girls. <laughs> um, but I have just my two peacock pictures over there and my peacock feathers from Pier 1 and a vase that I really, really like. And then this table not only filled the space, but I keep all of my correspondence things in here, which I'll probably show a little bit more in depth at some point. But I keep everything that I need for easy access for correspondence. So sitting notes to people, I keep my agendas in there for schedules. I also have this card box in here that has some easy grab and go boxes in it for birthday cards and thinking of you cards and blank cards and all those sorts of things. And so I just kind of keep those on hand for when I need those. And then down here at the bottom, I just have a couple of essentials down there. I have a weather radio, which I haven't quite found a home for, but it's kind of an essential that we need this time of year where we live. And then also in the bottom of the correspondence cabinet, I keep things for random acts of kindness, just different things that I might be mailing out or just extra pens and things like that. And then I have my extension cord because over here to the side is actually the uh, area that I plug my laptop in at night when I'm editing. So I have to have easy access for that. So this has worked out really, really great to have all these things accessible and down here where they're easy to get to. And I think this cabinet filled the space really nicely. It's rounded so I don't have to worry about the girls running into it and hitting a corner and that sort of thing since this is kind of a high traffic corner. So this is my correspondence area and definitely has helped keep me more organized and has been extremely functional. 
And my final favorite organization area, which you may have to hear about occasionally on this channel, but really this has changed my life. I love this area, is my meal planning area here in the kitchen. It's right to the left of the stove, so I can easily see it when I'm cooking or here in the kitchen making other meals. And it just helps keep our meal plan laid out. I do two weeks at a time, so I might have two weeks up there at a time. You can see it's really super easy. Just Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. I write out what the meal is we're supposed to be having for dinner or if we have an event going on that night so I know that I don't need to be making here something at the house and it just helps remind me what I have in the refrigerator to make and I'm not scrambling around at five o'clock trying to figure out what's going to be for dinner what are we having I have no clue what we want for dinner it just keeps all the options laid out and nicely presentable so this meal planning board has really been wonderful in fact I just upgraded to this board that has a bit of a frame around it because it's been so useful and I found this at Michael's the retail cost was about $29 and I used a 40% off coupon on it so it made it a little bit cheaper just under $20 so all in all $20 well spent to keep the kitchen area more organized so hopefully you enjoyed seeing my five favorite organization areas in my house and thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.